Okay, back from the break, and um, I'm going on about an obscure European drummer by the name of Han Benick, who never gets enough mentions. I, I really liked his bombastic style of drumming, a la bit like Art Blakey in a lot of ways, and, um, you know, the big um, bass drum bombs and stuff. <laughs> And then I went off into a Buddy Rich style thing, I suppose, you know, the real <laughs> snare drumming. <laughs> All that sort of business. But what you can do is um, if you come back a little bit, and now I'll just talk technical stuff or just equipment business. Uh, this beautiful stainless steel snare drum, 16, uh, uh, sorry, what am I saying, 16, 14 by 6.5, has a three-way toggle switch, so you've got three settings, so you don't need to screw it up, screw it down randomly, you can just go flick, 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 so if you set up just right, you've got your uh, loose snare, normal snare, tight snare, yay, and um, what goes on here is um, I've just loosened it off to give myself a little bit of a New Orleans style, you know, press roll. Now, 3-2 clave. Then, New Orleans second line rhythm. Desire, you too, things like that. But Now, there's a couple of things I did in there that I'm just going to talk about. I saw a clip the other night from um, the good old Johnny Carson Tonight Show, the, the very famous American talk show host. And he had the Doc Severinsen big band for many, many years and for many, many years into the decades. The very famous drummer. Pretty much the only drummer around apart from Louis Belson that really gave Buddy Rich a real run for his money. You could see the sweat pouring off Buddy Rich and say, oh, geez, I better do something here. I've got someone coming close to me. It was Ed Shaughnessy. And I saw a clip it with Ed Shaughnessy um, just the other night where he was talking about um, press rolls from the traditional jazz days. <laughs> and my teacher, Harold Ripper, um, gave me a little bit of a clue about this, but Ed Shaughnessy called it the whipped cream roll, where it was like <laughs> whipping, you know, sort of thing. And what I did with the 3 2 clave or the second line rhythm. <laughs> into a press, right? And I have my years with the City of Essendon Brass Band to thank for that, sitting there or standing there all day in the sun. Remembrance Day, 11th of November, and a very sombre kind of, uh, not, you know, when we're talking about Anzac Day and Remembrance Days and things like that. Uh... Anzac Day, you're marching down Swanson Street and it's all whack, whack, whack and all that sort of stuff. But Remembrance Day is a much more sombre affair sort of thing. So I ha would have to... That's where my press rolls... I nearly fell over with press rolls, you know, like straight... <laughs> my wrists were cramping. I deserved my beer that night. 
anyway, so there's things like that, you know. So that really brought into play the press role, you know, or multiple bounce role. Uh, now, what goes on? What am I going on about? Right, left, left, and right, right, left. So what goes on is that when you're playing, uh, say, a 3-2 clave, you can now swing it, you see. Now, this is the 3-2 clave with loose snares. Right, left, left, right, right, left. You see? Right, left, left, right, right, left, right. Get it? Got it? Good. <laughs> A little bit more contemporary now. Um, with um, some of my more, say, classical percussion pieces and things, uh, and what often happens is that uh, you can play a lot of notes, but you're actually thinking slow if you know what I mean. Uh, you know, like if, if you're listening to, say, a long timpani roll, but here it's a floor tom roll. Like you can see I'm playing quite fast on the floor tom, but the tempo is really slow because it's here. You see? So when I start building up a piece of music like Sometimes. Right, left, left, right, right, left. So I've gone from jazz to almost classical.
got something out of that? Right, left, left, right, right, left. Two rudiments. The great man's guts to know his limitations. Man's got to know his limitations.